Hello, this is Mark from I Am Organic Gardening, and I'm going to show you how collecting leaves is going to save you money, or if you wish to save it, by earning you money. So let's take a look. So how does leaves equal money? I was sent a link by Ed Harley, who watches my channel, and it was very interesting. I want to share this with you. I knew about some of the information from a different resource. Now, in this resource that he found, it actually puts a dollar amount on the leaves, which is a breakdown of all the minerals in the leaves equals a certain dollar amount. And I'm going to share that report with you. I printed out a copy so I can show you. I will also provide a link uh, below so you can print it out for yourself. And in paragraph two, let's take a closer look, is what I mean the value money-wise that you get from leaves uh, that you will place on your garden, a dollar amount. So right in paragraph two, when you print it out or look at it, and you'll see the same thing I'm seeing here, it explains the dollar amount of value of N, P, and K, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Now it goes a little bit further on the second page, but even with this, when I apply 20 tons onto an acre of land, six inches thick, which is up here, that basically it equates to 400 pounds of nitrogen, 40 pounds of phosphorus, and 152 pounds of potassium. Then they give you the dollar amount or a cents amount, 30 cents a pound for nitrogen, 23 cents a pound for phosphorus and 18 cents a pound for potassium and that works out to 156 dollars that I have sitting in nutrients values now I don't know how old this report is but it goes back to 1988 here and because I follow these rules over here also too when I receive leaves I am EPA approved you have to have a license to accept leaves in the state of New Jersey and they are clean leaves from a clean source from a park and I'm not worried about them picking them up from the curb because I know where they're coming from now uh, so I don't have to worry about contaminants on my property now if you have $156 that I have here in nutrient value again I don't know how old the report is and I couldn't see a date on anywhere but let's say this is just current now that basically if you have one tenth of an acre you had $15 that you made by putting a six inch layer on a 21 by 21 garden area 21 feet by 21 feet garden area so on the second page of this report is a breakdown of all the nutrients and minerals that are inside those leaves that uh, show up now this is a great bit of information and it shows you um, if you ever have a discussion with somebody or else too of all the other minerals that are in those leaves adding something to your soil and to your plants so in front of us, I have an acre of land. Uh, this one is uh, about 150 feet wide and about 300 feet long. And uh, it receives about 40 truckloads of leaves, each truckload containing 20 cubic yards. Now, which is nice about this, I know that I have exactly about 800 cubic yards and I will spread that over this one acre or a little bit more than an acre of land and also like that, there's no such thing as bad leaves. There's a lot of people think oak leaves are bad or pecan leaves and all these other things. The only difference is they just take more time to uh, decay or break down. That's it. There is no bad leaves. It's not going to infect the soil or stunt growth or anything else either. The reason I use so many leaves is because I use it as ground cover. Now, I can use other cover crops, but what I have been facing over the years is that even... Uh, last year was my worst year ever and we had lots of snow. I get a lot of geese on my property and I don't know if you can hear them in the background but they're in my neighbor's field. He just harvested uh, corn, field corn and I'll take a walk over there and I'll show you. So I walked over nice and quietly and they know I'm here but they don't know where I am. There's geese in the field right in front of me and there's probably about at least a hundred. Now they know I'm here because they hear me talking. I will make a loud noise and you can see how many in the field when they start taking off. Yeah! So that's why I use all these leaves because 
if I planted nothing but cover crop on them in my field number three or garden number three area, they will eat that to the ground. And it's been years that I've been using the leaves and it's been working good so I can get nutrients back in my soil. But I also plant a small amount of cover crops in there. Then in the springtime I will come in and I will plant another cover crop directly into the leaves. Also another common question that's asked a lot of time, should I chop up my leaves to get them uh, broken down faster? You can. It's up to you to decide uh, on your area how quickly you want them to break down. But again, if you do nothing, they will stay there until next year and just provide you, which I'll show you in a little bit, this great, fantastic mulch is sitting on top of your soil. It will keep your weeds down to some extent. And also, too, this is a time-release fertilizer. It doesn't mention in the article, it will always contribute some nitrogen, some phosphorus, and some potassium, and those other trace minerals on the second page that was there. Now, that is all good. It's a slow-release fertilizer naturally to your soil. So it's giving a little bit each day so your plants do not create any stress on themselves. So don't worry about chopping them down or anything else either. Just let it decay naturally. Uh, if you wish, you can just always move the leaves aside and plant directly uh, into the soil underneath them. So let's say this is your first year using leaves. You're going to get some nutrient value released to you quickly and some of the other ones aren't but the following year you will and i don't mean the following spring it would be a whole full year from the time you put those leaves on top of your garden soil but it's going to start bringing that soil back alive again with the right bacteria and fungus you're going to start making the soil food web come back alive now what you can do is again what i showed you here is to make a uh, strips of leaves and strips of cover crops and you can plant uh, the cover crops in there which will keep a living root in the ground which will keep the mycorrhizal fungi available in the ground to keep everything growing and your soil healthy just like in nature and one more last thing i'd like to point out you are going to help your environment by saving leaves because if you put them out in the roadway and they get crushed by cars or pushed around what they're doing, they're releasing a lot of phosphorus, and that phosphorus goes directly into the drains, which goes out to the rivers, and the river goes out to the ocean. The high phosphorus is not a lot in leaves, but when it's a highly concentration at a certain time of the year, that it will release into the water system, and that will cause algae to grow, which is not good for the environment. Now, how does that work in nature? Now, in nature, when the leaves fall off the trees, they stay in place. They don't go near a water source, not with a large amount. What we're doing is we're taking that large amount and we're putting it onto an area that is covered so it doesn't go back in the soil. So it just washes away into the water system. Now I'm standing in front of my back to Eden trial garden. Now the that's the wood chip area that you see right directly in front of you. Now further in the background you see a green field. That's winter rye growing in the leaves. All those leaves are gone that was in the other part because it was back to Eden versus fall leaves in the other episodes that I did on my uh, channel. Now behind that is a trellis. You'll see those metal pipes and we're going to take a walk over there and that's some leftover leaf mold that was here all the time last year and I'll show you what that looks like a year later. So let me grab a handful and I'll show you a close-up of it. Now this is what it looks like a year later. Now it took a whole year and I went over this once with a, uh, or actually twice with a rototiller. I don't hit the soil, but what I do is I do chop the leaves up a little bit further. You don't necessarily gonna get this consistency, but it will break down to this within another month after this, especially going through the second winter. And this is beautiful. This is not soil though. This is compost, this is leaf mold, but it makes a great surface protection for your soil. As you can see, there is such a dollar amount of leaves, even a small amount. So even if you do a four by four area, you are still saving money and making money by doing that. I wish to thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this and it gave you some valuable information. If you haven't done so, please subscribe and please share with your friends in your garden community. Thanks.